Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial of Creative Process and today we're designing this circuit logo. The logo has got a very interesting designing technique. It has got a circuit design with a circular end at one side, whereas the other side are converging toward each other. So to design this logo, we'll use the ellipse tool and create our circle. Then after that, with the help of line segment tool, we'll create out the grid. We'll modify the shape of the grid and with the help of shape builder tool, we will create out this circuit design. And finally, we'll add up the further details and text. So let's begin a tutorial. Uh, let's select the ellipse tool and create a circle of height and weight around 208. So left click the mouse button and I'm keeping the weight around 208 by height 208. The reason why I'm keeping this I'll tell you uh, a little later. So once I've created that I'll change the color to something uh, blue and change the color to stroke color. And I'll keep the stroke thickness to around four points and like that. Now, next thing, I'll use the scissor tool and cut it into half. So I'll use the scissor tool and click here and click here. And now it's half. I can delete the other half. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a division of 13. The reason why we have taken 208 was 208 I uh, have done is I have divided 208 by 13 and I've got 16 points. Uh, height so I'll create a rectangle and create a height of 16 points uh, let the width be any and click OK so we got a rectangle of that height now next thing I will do is I'll use the line segment tool and just trace it out from this with a shift pressed a straight line horizontal and with all press duplicate this and bring it till this much now with the help of duplication option control D will duplicate this for multiple number of times and after that delete this rectangle and bring this to this so so I'll just align with this zoom it in align this with this circle like that and you can see it now I'll just delete it out rest and we got a 13 division each of 18 points and total was 208 I'll just delete this out and next thing I'll just select everything and extend this till this much now group this control G control C control F to uh, duplicate to the front and I'll just rotate this to 90 degree angle so with the shift pressed I'll just rotate it through this much now next thing is I'll just select both control G and next what I'll do is I'll just bring this second line align with this circle so i'll just bring it uh, this much bring it to the center like that let's check it out okay that's good so next thing we need to do is we need to modify the shape so i'll just go there selecting this I'll go to object envelope distort may make with mesh and here i have given the rows to and column one preview it you got see 2 by 1 and click OK and now with the direct selection tool I'll just modify the shape from here and just um, push it till this side you can see we have got that nice round effect and after that a little bit after that we'll just make sure the handle is uh, in a flow uh, while adjusting the handle we need to make sure that these things should be perfectly aligned right now I think let's see okay it's not aligned so we need to make sure it's aligned properly first so zoom it in and make sure it's aligned so I'll just make sure okay like that let me see on the down done now next thing selecting this go to with the selection tool do it selecting that go to object envelope to store make it mesh preview it two by one okay now Modify the shape with the direct selection tool. select it Shift and just click it to the side like that just a little bit like that And then after that we'll make sure the handle is in perfect place So I'll just click and make sure to maintain the flow in that time We have to make sure that this is not effective. So we have to go there and adjust that they should be in the flow Like that we can just reduce a little bit okay like that in the same way downside also we have to adjust the handle so just hide this and you can see it's good there but if you and after doing this you do have to do some adjustment here you can see so I'll just uh, select and push it up a little bit and zoom it in a little bit down 
and see it out okay that's fine so once you get that uh, with the selection tool selected and go to object expand it click ok and now done now everything is fine select everything and now expand it object expand and this will convert this into fill object next thing we need to do is we need to make this circuit design so we have to first remove all these stuff from here maintaining that curve so with the shape builder tool just go there first of all select the dark color from here and just work out we have to maintain this curve so we have to remove all these outside ones so just click and drag and do it select them make sure they are combined just make sure to combine them and all these small small pieces should be combined so that it doesn't create any stuff later on working out with the small small pieces uh, will reduce the amount of error we can make later on so just make sure to remove all these corner pieces we are not working here because we can delete it by selecting them but here it is attached to these uh it is main design so we have to make sure it's detached from there so that's why we are using the shape builder tool and removing it so make sure they are combined and now we are here at the end i'll just zoom it out and make sure work it from here so selecting this make sure this one is connected like this now next thing we need to do is after this is we will work out with the interior circuit design so first thing we need to create all these stuff so let's see so this is the middle one you can see this is one and after that we got these shape so this one is we can see middle and after that here so we have to create that shape from here going through that like that and over here leaving this okay here we got two gap so make sure just click and drag and you create that shape I'll just zoom it in around uh, 180 let's check it out okay and with the and it will just okay this one is good now next thing is I'll just make this gap so one two here like that combining then you got that nice gap here uh, here we have to maintain the, this end uh, we need to extend the one two three I think three and four we got this long shape then here we got three and okay this one we got a gap here three this one go till this much connecting this just combine this then this will go till this much this one go one two three this one go here 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 and this ends here in the same way we'll go for this giving that long leaving one row com completing from here this one goes till one two three four i think and done completing here i'll just make sure all these are blue okay this one all these blue all these should be removed later on so i'm just giving them different color using the shape builder tool so that it doesn't create any issue later on next here we need to work out with here so we need a gap here so i'll just extend it until this much and we got that nice gap here in the same way we zoom it in i'll just zoom it in here and just make sure it is nicely uh removed so like that okay this we need the small cut you can see if we left it out it will be creating an issue so just zoom it in and remove it out with the shape builder tool zoom it out like that this one this piece okay here we go next thing we need to do is we just go here and here we got that shape uh this one we got a gap here we need to make that three 
by this than this and here is an opening here so we'll just go there and make it open there selecting everything and zoom it in work it out make it clean so just go there and just clean up everything all the small small pieces should be combined this one and this and this like that let's check out next stuff here so this got the got there this one we got that this one it goes till there opening okay here till here and this one all combined together like that okay so we got this and it has got an opening here so I'll just click and drag it out and here's the opening other one in the same way we'll just check it out where else we got that this one goes there second row is this so I'll just bring it out from here let's check this one okay it starts from here in the same way it starts from here and it takes two rows like that you can see it has taken two rows so I'll just make sure it's combined the two rows like that then next is this one third one so it comes from here going through this and ends at here so you can see that next we are about to finish here so we'll just go there and this and that and it's done next is we need to give a gap here come connecting to this then other this and giving that I think two gaps so two here and finish it here this one should be finished and let's break it over here so you got that next here is we need to maintain this flow we get an angle here and then going till this much then from here going till this much so let's check it out okay now almost everything is done let's uh, let's see what else we have left it out we can see here we got a little piece here so you can remove it I think we have done so after that click outside ungroup everything ungroup ungroup now selecting these pieces you can delete these only the blue pieces and it will be empty there selecting this just delete it out this one this one this one and this one and this small control Z this one and we select and delete all the corner pieces so just click and drag and delete click and drag and delete this one we need that opening here okay we got issue here you can see we have got that issue so I'll just use the shape builder tool and just remove this tool and delete it out like this so rest I can just select and delete So go there, just click, drag, delete, click, drag, delete. Done. So if you see, we have got everything. Now let's adjust these uh, things. Before that, what we'll do is we just check out whether we have left out anything. Where is there something which we need to do at the adjustments? Okay, I think it's everything is fine. So now select everything and we'll do the adjustments here like that so with the have a shape builder tool i'll just do is we need the length here this much so from here uh, we need a little bit of length from here till this much and rest of all i'll just make sure to remove it uh, i'll just change the color to something else so that we can see it from there till this much the same way we got a long one here so i think it's okay next is we keep giving a little gap here and Let's extend this till this much. This one a little bit till this much and remove the rest. This one till this much, remove the rest. Or maybe to Z from here. Rest this one, make it long. This one around this much. This one okay. This one okay. 
Now next thing we need to do is just delete this out. I will just delete this out with the selection tool. Just select them, delete, 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 and delete. And let's do some adjustments here. We need little adjustments at this. So before that, I'll just do is select everything and go to Pathfinder and combine it. Now this is one object. Now after that, we can do the adjustments. So I'll just remove a point from here extra points like that and with the anchor point tool I'll just make sure it's go straight like that okay now this one I need to make it linear so I'll just select this and give some angle to this like that and this one also 90 degree angle and after that just bring it till this much like that now let's check it out we it's perfect this one is perfect this one this one this one we need to give a little longer here so I'll just select and push it out till this much the same way selecting this I'll just with the arrow keys just push it out till this much this one we need to make it longer with a shift and arrow just push it out longer In the same way select these shift with the arrow key just extend it out this one extend it a little bit okay this one is going good so finally we have got the circuit shape next thing we need to do is we need to work out with the entire uh, details so I'll just first of all what I'll do is I'll just make sure to give that uh, thickness so I'll just increase the thickness here so give a stroke color and let's check it out this one we can just a little bit increase it uh, let's check it out too and that's almost good we can reduce a little bit 1.6 then after that we'll just convert that stroke into object form so I'll just go to path and outline stroke and after that just combine it and this will give that nice thick one next thing we need to do is I'll just group this up Control G and we have to create that semicircle. so I'll use the ellipse tool and left click my mouse button and I give that width and height and click OK let's give the stroke color so just invert this color and let's increase the stroke thickness to the maybe 4 and check it out or maybe let's increase it to 6 and OK now let's change to something else like that gray and like that now I'll just place this according to this shape like that you can see and a little bit a little bit and I'll just increase the size maintaining the shape like that and after that I'll just give a cut with a scissor tool cut a here one more cut here and let's delete the rest like that now we got that nice shape we can increase it with a shift press just click and just increase this gapping like that next thing is we need to create the circles so I'll just use uh, ellipse and create a circle invert the color and next I'll just place it across the ends so just go there place it there same way just click and drag and duplicate it and place it at the ends this one I'll just make sure it's in the end like that this one go there just duplicate and place it there go there place it there so if you place it at every end, and done. Next is we'll need to do some adjustment here. So first of all, I select everything and deselect this circle outside one. Control G, group it, and we need to converge this end. So to do that, I'll go to object. Envelope distort, make it mesh. Let's preview it. Here we need to give two here around like that and click OK. And now with the direct selection tool, just convert this till. So I'll just click. Let's just press one, two. This one, one, two. And maintain the flow like that. From here, like that. Select it, make sure, follow the curve, 
and you see that it has got a nice that uh, curve here we can do some adjustments here to give that feel like that and done and after that selecting that go to object expand it and it's done now selecting everything I'll just scale it down a little bit and place it here so finally we have done with our circuit design the last thing we are left with is text so let's type out a text C I R C U I T circuit and I'll just change the color to white and the font which we are using here is Robotex GP so with Apica just select that and place it here uh, we do some adjustments here go to character let's increase the spacing so let's increase it around 1000 or maybe 1100 okay and place it there and let's do some highlight I'll just choose the C and change the color to white and done so finally we have completed our logo I hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you